Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. In this video, we'll carry on with testing the AMD R9 Fury X versus the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti. I've done this comparison already at the full HD resolution 1920 by 1080. In this video, I'll rerun the benchmarks at the 4K resolution, so 3840 by 2160. <music> So once again, the pricing of these two GPUs is pretty much the same. However, I'm expecting the prices to drop sometime soon. So without further ado, let's bring on the benchmarks. Alright, so this time I got a bit different results than what I've seen last time at 1080p. At 4K, this R9 Fury X pretty much can easily keep up with the powerful GTX 980 Ti and in certain games it even surpasses it. So I think it would be fair to call this a tie, performance-wise, at this screen resolution. Also, this Fury X runs much cooler than the 980 Ti reference card. In terms of noise level, the 980 Ti is much louder and can definitely be heard on full load, whereas the Fury X remains quiet for the most part. And by most part, I mean there's that constant, high-pitched pump noise you can hear from the AIO water cooler. Nothing too serious, but for those of you that are sensitive to that kind of noises, it might be something you should take into consideration before buying a few reacts. But then again, that can be fixed by AMD in the future, if they are willing to do something about it. The power consumption is still about 14% higher on the Fury X or the 980 Ti, but that's easily enough to call the GPU efficient. The 980 Ti is equipped with 6GB of GDDR5 VRAM, whereas the Fury X has 4GB of the new HBM memory with great bandwidth and all. At the time of this video, I don't think you need more than 4GB, but in the upcoming years, I think you need a little more. There are 390 X has 8GB. I know HBM is new tech and costs its money and has its limitations, but since we're talking about GPUs in a very high price range, I'd expect at least a bit more future proofness. But other than that, AMD really did well with this Fury X release, and I'm really excited about it. What are your opinions? Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. There's definitely more to come, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.